Good day there. Orc War Boss Scrap Guts here. And we're going to kick the ass out of some Umis and Blue Scans and other aliens. And I'm not doing the voice anymore. Yay, I'm back. And I've swapped my Orc Fleet. Only level 5, but you know, getting there. And we're going to play as my Orc War Boss Scrap Guts. I actually made a model of him back in the day. He was like. Um, ninety percent cybernetic. So he had what was he? He had one hand where like basically all of him was like just metal because of an an incident where he got hit in the gut with a rocket. And he had one arm was like a chain axe, um, was like a massive like double bit uh, chain axe. And then the other hand was a power claw with a twin link shooter. And he had, you know, it was really cool. It was like cobbled together power armor, and I thought it was quite fun. Oh, we're fighting orcs. Orcs versus orcs. We'll, we'll test my new um, ship out for a ride. And maybe we'll get... Let's bring everybody. Stuff it. And there we go. Let's just bring all the boys to the fight. Uh. You know, I used to hate the orc faction. I felt they were seriously OP. And they weren't actually that fun. Because I was playing as... I like being, you know using lances and backing up and, you know, heavy fire and, you know, tactics and micro warp jumps and stuff, and the orcs weren't appealing to me. But nowadays, I actually quite, now I've discovered I'm a bit more of a brawler when it comes to um, my ships. It's actually a lot more fun um, to play as the orcs again. Hmm, so, we'll see. Ooh, eight ships to destroy. Orc vs. Orc. I'm interested to see where this goes. Right. Alright, boys. We got some other boys who think they know how to run things. We're gonna kick their teeth in. I don't even know where my accent's from, but it's definitely not Orky. Uh, orky. Such a funny word. Oh, yeah. Thought I added some weird things to my ships. Right. Scrap guts. Let's launch a whole bunch of probes to see what the orcs are up to. Ah. Do do do. Ah, I know I have the graphics down on shitty low because, although my PC is actually really good, I don't like to tax her because I've had a crash once or twice trying to do stupid things. Um, and I prefer to record in 720 because I'm lazy and editing for me needs to be as simple and complicated free as possible. But, I must admit, I still love this game. And I love the little graphics of it. Look at the little engine parts spewing out of my little ships. Right, ooh. Nice. Alright. Everybody. Boys. Kill. Good. And you two. What have you armed with? I'm sure I armed one of you, armed you with front firing weapons. Oh, I armed you with lots of heavy cannons. Huh, maybe you should alternate. Uh, no, just engage with whatever, really. I'm not really that complicated when it comes to orcs. Oh, pedal flap. Move out the way. Oh, of course. I've never been a fan of that time bubble. It always pisses me off, because... I always end up being trapped in it because it's hard to alternate different, um, finding different ships or different things. Like the first ship will get away, but the second ship will be trapped. I told you so. Right. Oh. Let's actually ram. And. 30%. Teleportation strike. Teleportation strike. Uh, get the shooters out. We want to get the shooters out. The shooters. Activate emergency repairs, auto thing engagement, blow that up. Uh, you. This is. Alright. Activate that, activate that. Uh, what have we got? Lightning strike there. Uh, torpedoes. Most of them were destroyed, but a few got in. What are you doing? Go engage. Uh, I keep forgetting I turn off auto-engagement, because whenever you have auto-engagement on, 
your ship's always act retarded. But when you have it off, your ship sort of jerk around and prefer to watch everyone else fight. Right. Okay. Engage. Shoot them. Get the shooters out. We ain't about the choppy. We about the shooty. You need to shoot them. Right. You guys. Man, my new ship is getting ha hammered. Uh, right. Lock on. Right. Including this ship gaining the free assault action every time they board. Oh, it doesn't apply to teleportation. Interesting. Um, well, we can probably um, get a use for that. Let's go forward engagement because the heavy guns are good. But I like to do a bit of ramming. Alright. Boarding. Good. And... Torpedoes. Can you brace for impact? No, you can't. Deal with it. Auto repair. Alright. You... Alternate back to here. See, I love this. I love the little... I'm not very good at it, but I love the little complicated micromanagement. You know, this ship attack, this ship. This ship attack, this ship. It'd be really cool type of game, like a bit like FTL to have someone sitting and playing it for you so you'd like sit next to them and go you know um, have have the looted butcher attack that cruiser activate forward you know activate shield recharges activate torpedoes fire on this ship on my mark fire you know stuff like that that'd be neat oh alright this is the ship which has da lots of heavy guns okay that's alright well let's go forward and let's Activate ramming speed and the bombers. And let's have the rock and a rock attached to that. And let's have that go back to there. Activate the 6,000 kilometers. And have you shoot. Alright, you guys need to attack this ship. You two need to attack this ship. Uh, I said this ship. And all as well. Oh. Teleportation. Teleportation to blow that one up. Excellent. Activate lock on fire. Get all the sh all the shooters going. They warp out. Also, I've never understood. How do you orcs enter the webway? What? That's wrong on 500,000 levels. Um, orcs can't enter the webway. Uh, into the warp, maybe? I'm sure orcs could enter the warp. With a webway slip. Hey guys, maybe you want to patch that. Maybe it seems a bit wrong. Orcs can't enter the webway. I know, I'm sure there has been an orc that's entered the webway. I'm sure an orc fleet has shown up at Komora by accident and um, killed a few Dark Elder, but I don't really think the orcs are supposed to go on the webway, you know? Maybe you want to fix that. Not, not complaining too much, just thought it would be something worth mentioning. We Look, it all blows up. And I didn't lose a single ship. Oh no, I lost my escort. But they don't count. <laughs> Escorts aren't people. <laughs> uh, escort lives matter, man. Escort ship lives matter. Uh. Come on. Load game. I know you can do this. There you go. Ooh. Da bah, da cunning killer. Oh, looted butcher, mech boys, wah, morks, daka. Oh, orcs have fun names. I think the orcs, the Im Imperium, have probably have fun names. Like the Righteous Hammer and the Spirit of Vengeance. Orc names have, like, chaos names are like, you know, um, uh, what was it? The Seeker's Rare for, um, the pleasure's chosen. That's not really fun. Uh, right. I want better, more powerful ducker. And I want... More... Oh, what's this? Oh, I want more ducker. I want... I want this ship to be a good shooty ship. Because it's got big heavy cannon. It's got... Heavy cannons with 48 attack damage. Um, 45 attack damage, 2 attack damage. Yeah, I want, like, the heavy cannons to be the same thing of this, so 
What are their range normally? 3,000. So I've just upped their range to 6,000. Uh, so that means it would be good. 6,000 kilometers by upgrade and get a few more good shift fighter, um, good bonuses. It should be all right. What have you got? Okay, you have a stolen Nova Cannon. And you have a running, surprise running. What have you got? I, this is the first time I've actually checked these ones, by the way. I've never actually thought about it until now. So that's the boarding faction. The Bad Moons, they've got all the shock attack mega cannon. Targeted ships are saying two assault with actions at really long range. Can, own, can target a ship with shield active? That's pretty good. One free upgrade shot to the fleet. This will be about speed. Got a move air and the big red button. I think this ship is either blood axes or bad moons. To me personally. The shock attack mega cannon is a good opener. Like hit them with a the shock attack gun. Then blast them with cannon. And that gives one extra upgrade slot. Uh, which I could use to upgrade and get more guns. Um... This one's the Nova Cannon, which is really fun. And that one's the Running Silent, but... So... So you'd... This is just the same as even any other Running Silent. So you'd run silent, pounding them with Nova Cannon, and then reveal yourself and hit them with your guns. That might be worth debate for another time. But in the meantime... Well, the, the Cunning Killer. What have I upgraded you with? Chain, Squig... Weird Boy Tower. Uh, might upgrade the Chain Swig and then upgrade the Weird Boy, maybe. Now what have we got here? More Ducker. Really big guns. Uh, heals double damage. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Right, let's give it another battle. Uh... Bomber squads and torpedoes bypass shields, which makes them useful against ships with strong shields. Thanks, game. Gratefully appreciate it. Oh, Elder. Either I will get my ass handed to me, or this will be very fun. Also, I like how orc ships are so inexpensive, I can use every one of my ships, which means they all get an equal opportunity. See, Warboss Scrap Guts is an equal opportunity um, Orc Warboss, and if you feel like joining him, then all you need is a good shooter, and you'll, you'll you know, breeze in. See, Scrap Guts has realized that a lot of Umis and stuff use shooters, and it seems like a logical thing. So, Scrap Guts uses shooters, and he likes them. Now, we're going to sort of scatter our... Um, formation just along the line because where if I deploy in one corner, it, they will obviously be in the other corner. If I don't deploy in a corner, they'll be everywhere. So you are 6,000 kilometers side side fire. You are forward firing 1,000. You are forward firing 3,000. Forward firing 3,000. Forward firing 3,000. And you, my shitty little escort, who have grot guns, are 3,000 and forward. Right, what have we got? Use the tactical cogitator. The orcs use the tactical cogitator. Uh, I don't even think orcs would know how to spell tactical or say tactical cogitator. Right. Everyone, dogpile, go. Let's be honest. Right, I don't really care as long as I destroy that tactical that targeted ship, I'm fine. It's why I think, in my opinion, uh, I'm not a fan of... Actually, I kind of like assassination, because if you're playing as the assassination victim, then it gets quite complicated, and you have to, like, you know, have your other ships run interference, and it's quite intense. But when you're playing as the person who's just trying to kill the attacking ship, all you really need to do is just target the ship. Not really that subtle, I'll be honest. Oh, actually, let's go... Wah. So when we catch up to it, um, we can do whatever we do. 
Right. And then, and then. Oh wait, I should probably be saving those for the admiral ship, shouldn't I? Actually, just get stomping, really. Leave my two, my main ships to tackle this one. Should be fine. Oh, that's interesting. Right, activate refuel. That's why I always love those. The grot on a rock. Attach to target. Nice. Everybody needs to gang up on this ship. And you guys can run interference and stomp some heads. Which sounds dodgy in the wrong context, as I've discovered. Also, if you are wondering, yes, I am talking from a stream of consciousness. Because I find it's quite interesting to do so. Wait, what? And active time before the ship's dis able to disengage is a minute. So, AI people, what are you doing? Oh, you clever duck. Very nice. Um, kudos to that. That was an interesting move. I will honestly give you respect to that. Um, Mr. Eldar Purposen. Mm. Right. I think you need to be closer to 3,000 kilometers because while your heavy cannons have got the range, you still need to keep in touch with them. Um, go. Man, these Eldar ships are getting destroyed. If, when I'm playing as the Eldar, I target one single orc ship, hammer them with my pulsars um, until they're dead, and then get out of there before the repercussions are felt. Uh, but these Eldar, I know I'm only fighting on regular AI here, but they're not very smart. Right. The ships. Shoot them. I think I've actually destroyed every one of their ships except this escort. Go! Look at, look at the, my ugly walk ship of scrap. Isn't that fun? I might actually call this a part here, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how we feel. Uh, but this has been fun, actually. I've a, a nice, you know, I'll throw up two Battlefleet Gothic Armada videos in a day. That'll be fun for everybody. No one leveled up, though, so that's kind of sad. But I guess I will see you again, maybe later on in the week, with another Battlefleet Gothic Armada. As long as the game doesn't fuck up or um, pull another refusing to record in the game anymore. And I'll see you again another time.